So in this problem, we're told to evaluate the indefinite integral from 0 to pi of secant squared of t over 6 times dt. So to solve this problem, we got to use u substitution. So first, let's decide what u is going to be. So we should probably set u equal to what's inside of our uh, secant squared. So we're going to set u equal to t over 6, which is the same thing as just 1 over 6t. I'm just going to rewrite it that way. And then what we want to do next is take the derivative of u. So the derivative of this right here, the derivative of 1 over 6 times t is just going to be 1 over 6 uh, times dt. And uh, you can see that right. Uh, because the derivative of um, something in front of a variable, right? So it's just 1 over 6. And then we add dt after. So next what you want to do is solve for dt. So we can just divide both sides by 1 over 6. So it's going to become du over 1 over 6. and Something over like a fraction like this, we can just move it up. So it's just going to be 6 times du. So we've solved for dt. The next thing we want to do is just rewrite our integral. 0 to pi secant squared. of, And then we want to replace uh, t over 6 with u, right? That's what u equals. And then we want to replace uh, dt with what we solved it to be. So dt equals 6 times du. So the next thing that we want to do is find the antiderivative of, of this. Or actually, we could simplify this a bit further just by moving the 6 out front, but it doesn't really matter. So it's just 6 times secant squared of u times du. So we want to find the antiderivative of this. We know the derivative of tangent is secant squared. The derivative of tangent of u is secant squared of u. So the antiderivative of secant squared of u is just tangent of u. And then we're multiplying by 6, right? So it's just going to be 6 times the tangent of u. Uh, and what we want to do is since we're taking um, the antiderivative, we have to add c. And so now that we got like this, what we want to do is replace u with what u equals. So it's just t over 6, right? So 6 times the tangent of t over 6. Then keep in mind, um, well, now that we got it like this, we got to evaluate it at the things they give us at our lower bound and upper bound. So just write it out like this. So what we're going to do is just plug pi into this, uh, get some value, then minus whatever 0 is plugged into this. So let's start by plugging in pi. So we have 6 times the tangent of pi over 6. And so we know the tangent tangent is, uh, the tangent of pi over 6 is going to be, well, we know that tangent is the same thing as sine of x over the cosine of x. So it's just the sine of pi over 6 over the cosine of pi over 6. Sine of pi over 6 is 1 half. Uh, cosine of pi over 6 is rad 3 over 2. So we can just make this 1 half times 2 over rad 3, right? Copy dot flip. It would become 2 uh, over 2 rad 3. And then what we want to do is move or get rid of the rad 3 on the bottom. So what we could do is multiply top and bottom by rad 3, square root of 3. Um, on top we'll have 2 rad 3. On the bottom, rad 3 times rad 3 is 3, times 2 is 6. And so 2 over 6 times the square root of 3 is just uh, rad 3 over 3. And so now that we got it like that, what we, we just solved for that's the tangent of pi over 6, right? Rad 3 over 3. But we got to multiply by 6 now. So if we multiply this by 6, uh, it's just 6 times rad 3 over 3. So 6 times the square root of 3 over 3. If those cancel and will become 2. So it's just 2 the square root of 3. So we just solved for this. 2 times the square root of 3 when we plug in pi. And then when we plug in 0, right, because we minus, and then we plug in what 0 is. The tangent, so we plug in t into this, or we plug in 0. 0 over 6 is just 0, and the tangent of 0 is just equal to 0, right? It's the sine of 0, which is 0, over the cosine of 0, which is 1. So 0 over 1 is 0, so it's just 0. And then, um, so 2 rad 3 minus 0 is just 2 rad 3. So that's going to be our final answer. So the final answer to this problem is just 2 rad 3.